People, how you doing today? In this video, I'm gonna give you 20 hustle quotes to live by. I live by them. <laughs> Make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video so you won't miss anything. But first, Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment. I really appreciate all the support. Now, in life, when it comes to being successful, you got to have that positive talk. You have to have those positive affirmations that you say to yourself. And you definitely got to have those hustle quotes to live by. So in this video, I'm going to give you 20 hustle quotes to live by, baby. Number one, let your hustle be louder than your mouth. Let your success speak for itself. You can't let the left hand know what the right hand doing. You got to You got to move in silence, baby. Got to move in silence. You cannot let people know what's going on and what you are planning to do. You have to keep those things to yourself because a lot of the times people will hate on you on the low, on the low. They will hate on the low. That's exactly what they'll do to you. And you just have to be quiet. You just have to just tiptoe around it. Don't let nobody know what you're doing because in the end, your success is going to go, it's going to holler. It's going to let everybody know what's going on. And that's just, a, that's just what's going to happen. Your success will speak for itself. So make sure that you let your hustle be louder than your mouth. Number two, do something that your future self will thank you for. That's very, very important. If you're already successful, look at your past self. Look at your younger self. And say thank you thank you for getting us here and if you are doing something right now that is very very successful you can see your vision and you can see it happening for you your future self gonna look back at you you gonna look back at your future your future self gonna look back at you and say good job man congratulations look where we at now look at this house look at all this success look at all this wealth we got so make sure that you do something that your future self will thank you for that is very, very important. Number three, be the CEO of your life. That's very important. You're not going to be, you don't want to be one of those people that's just working at a job all your life and always telling the boss, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. You don't want to be one of those people. You don't want to be one of those people where everybody can tell you what to do. Everybody can say, hey, man, you should dress like this. Hey, man, you should wear your hair like this. Hey, man, you should look like this. Hey, man, you should do this. You're not gonna, you don't want to be one of them kind of people. You want to be in charge of your own thing. You want to be your own boss. So it's very, very, very important when it comes to you being successful, you have to be the CEO of your own life. Don't let anybody guide you in the wrong direction. And most importantly, don't let anybody take you off the path of you becoming successful. So make sure that you be the CEO of your own life. Number four, get out of your own way. I say that a lot in my videos. You just have to, you have to move. You have to get out of your own way. You cannot stand in your own way like a brick wall. Like you just can't, can't be moved. A lot of the times when I talk to people about success, when I ask people, you know, what, what, are, you, what are you about to do? Do you have a passion about everything? I hear a bunch of excuses. I hear people talking about what they can't do because I stay over here. Uh, I can't get over here because I don't have a car or I, I'm not going to make that success move yet because I didn't buy the equipment. Or it's just so many excuses that I hear people say. And all I can look at them and say is, man, I, I said to myself, I said, man, they in their own way. They don't know how to move out of their own way. So you have to be one of those peace, p people that does not make excuses. Do not make any excuses when it comes to you being successful. Get out of your own way. Number five, focus on your goals, not the obstacles. The more and more that you focus on problems, the more and more that you focus on the obstacles of what you don't have, the more and more of that's going to come. I run into people on a daily basis. All I hear is them saying, ah, oh, man, I can't do that because I don't have the money to do it. Or oh, I can't get over that because my car broke down. I can't get over that because what name them ain't come pick me up. You know, I just, I hear so many excuses all the time and they just focus on uh, the obstacles. They're focused on the problems all the time and they're not keeping their eyesight directly on the goal. They're not keeping their, their, their eyesight, you know, just in front of them. 
You know, they're just constantly focused on what they don't have. They're constantly focused on the problems and more and more of that shows up in their life on a regular basis. So make sure that you stay focused on the goal because the universe is going to make sure that you are OK. Trust in the universe and everything's going to work out. Just stay. Keep your eyes on the prize, baby. Keep your eyes on the prize. Now, number six, great things don't come when you stay in your comfort zone. If you're comfortable, then you're not doing something right. You have to know this. You have to step out of your comfort zone. You have to do something uncomfortable so you can get comfortable. If, if a lot of people, they just, they expect to just sit and keep doing the same thing, just sitting on the couch like, oh, it's going to come to me. Uh, uh, Opportunity is going to come and knocking on my door. You know, that's how people are. And they just, they're very comfortable staying where they're at. They're very comfortable, um, like being a rapper or artist, staying in their own city. They're not moving around because it feels uncomfortable to them. You know, they don't want to go somewhere where they ain't never been. They don't want to go somewhere where people don't know them or whatever it may be. Any part of success, even a new job, a career. You have to step out of your comfort zone. You have to go try something new so new things will start happening in your life. You have to get uncomfortable, people. That is very, very important. Now, number seven, remember why you started. Remember why you started in the first place. Sometimes you just have to go back to the drawing board. You got to go back to the drawing board and remember why you felt the passion in the first place what inspired you what motivated you you have to literally remember why you started because some people when they when they become successful or they're on their way to becoming successful some people give up because they just lost interest in it and they don't remember why they started and you know you just got to go back you got to go back in time a little bit and, and remember why it became your passion in the first place why did you want to become successful why did you want to go down this road and just revisit that moment revisit that time that period and, and just go back to the way it was and most of the time when you do that you will definitely get your motivation back so remember why you started in the first place now number eight Quit talking and just start doing. You know, I run into a lot of people on a day-to-day -day basis. And they just sitting there. They just blowing hot air about what they're going to do, about what's about to happen, what they're going to be doing next year or, 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 or in two years. And they just sitting back blowing so much hot air, man. Sometimes I be feeling like going to get a fan and bringing it with me so I can just plug it in and just cut that bad boy on because it gets so hot in the room because all they're doing is just blowing hot air like a radiator or something. You know what I mean? So don't be one of those people that just talks about what you're going to do. Make sure that you just do it. Remember, move in silence. Shh. Don't let anybody know what you're doing. Remember, being the CEO of your own thing, you don't need anybody's approval. So make sure that you just don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Be about it, baby. Don't talk about what you're doing. Just start doing it. Now, number nine, where your focus goes, energy flows. That's right. Where your focus goes, energy flows. If you are constantly focused on what you don't have, if you're constantly focused on what's not going to happen, that's where the energy is going to flow. You have to focus on what you want. You have to focus on the goal. You have to focus on success. Don't focus on any problems. Don't focus on any obstacles. Only focus on what you are doing and what you are creating and what is about to take place in your life. You want to keep your eyes focused on the end goal. You want to see yourself in vision, visualize yourself already having everything that you could ever desire. So always remember where your focus goes, energy flows. So make sure that your energy is flowing in the right direction direction now number 10 habits turn into character which creates your life right if you got bad habits like if you're one of those people that don't go to the gym you don't eat right what's going to happen you're going to end up being in bad health right so and that is going to in turn create your life right of having bad health am i correct yeah so make sure if you have any bad habits make sure that you turn those bad habits into good habits you want to have good habits because when you are a person who cares about your health, then 
you know, you'll start having good health. You'll create a, a life of good health. You have to have good habits when it comes to being successful. You have to want, you want to be organized. You want to be straightforward. You want to handle your business. You want to be one, a go-getter. You want to be one of those people that goes out and, and goes for the goals. You know, those are good habits. Bad habits is just sitting on the couch waiting for opportunity to knock on the door. That's a bad habit. So make sure if you have any bad habits, you got to analyze yourself. You really have to look at what's going on in your life. And then if you see any bad habits in your life, it is up to you to change those bad habits into good habits. And so you can create the life that you desire. This is very important. Now, 11, the sweetest revenge is massive success. Little do you know, little do you know, you got haters. You got people watching you right now. You have even people who you consider friends or even family members are looking at you right now. You know, people are on your on your on your social media. They're trying to see what your next move is. You know, at this point, if you are letting your hustle be louder than your mouth, then you're not telling anybody what's going on. Right. So the way to get anybody back who has ever wronged you or even hated on you in your life is being successful, baby is accomplishing the goals that you set out to get. If you put yourself in school, they're gonna see you walking out of there with a diploma. They're gonna see you graduating. They're gonna see you creating that album. They're gonna see you getting your artwork out there. They're gonna see you getting your music out there. They're gonna see you starting that business, whatever it may be. That success makes them sit back like, ah, they actually did it. You know, they sitting back, they just angry about it. You know, why, why are they angry? Because they don't have any success moves that they're creating on their own. They don't have a life of their own that they're creating. they just constantly looking at everybody else's life from the sideline. That's why. That's why they just watching the game. They're not trying to play the game. That's why they're hating. You know what I'm saying? So make sure that your success is something that you set out to get and you are becoming that. And that is in you. That is who you are. Success is the sweetest revenge, baby. Make sure that you remember that. Now, 12 it's okay to live a life that people don't understand. You want to be one of those people who literally turns your back on the herd. You don't want to be like everybody else. Everybody else is living a life of being copycats. This person do that, so they want to copy them. They consider that the norm. You want to be unorthodox. You want to be a lefty. You want to be somebody that nobody understands because at the end of the day, they're not going to go with you on the road to this success. You know, when, when God is preparing a table for you, everybody can't come sit at that table. They can't come eat the meal that God is preparing for you. Don't, those people that thought they could sit at the table with you, they got to go sit at the little kid's table. They can't sit at your table. You know, God doesn't want them to sit at your table. That's why when people don't understand you, they're not supposed to be around you. They're not supposed to be in your life. You are not supposed to give these kind of people your energy. Most importantly, you have to save and conserve your own energy because that is yours. So make sure that you live your own life, wear your hairstyle, the way you wear it, wear your clothes, the way you want to wear it. Make your success moves the way you want to do it. Don't worry about what those other people say. So it's very, very important that you live your life that the way that people don't understand. Just continue being different. Continue being unique. Now, number 13, nothing changes unless you change. That's very, very important. You have to be one of those people that is willing to change, you know, break all the bad habits, create good habits. You know what I mean? Um, just be different, because if you keep doing the same thing, you will get the same results. A lot of people, they just live life. They expect different results, but they continue having the bad habits. They continue hanging with the same people. They continue doing the same thing that they do on a regular basis that, cre that caused them to fail in the first place. And they think that it's going to work for them again. A lot of people, they don't learn the life lessons that the universe has taught them. You know what I mean? So make sure that you change because as soon as you change everything, when you change what's on the inside, the way you think, everything else a, a change. When you change those limiting beliefs that are on the inside of you, then everything else out will change. You have to change everything on the inside of you that is negative and change it to a positive and your world will change. Everything that you know right now will change now. Number 14, know your worth. That's very, very important. You know, you don't want to be one of those people to say, 
I do it for two dollars. <laughs> you, know, you don't want to be one of them kind of people, you know, and, and, and the, with that being said, you want to be one of those kind of people that that if you are going to go somewhere and, and speak somewhere, like if you are a, a motivational speaker, you want to make sure that you charge what you charge. Don't dumb yourself down. Don't, you know, don't give in to nobody unless you decide to do it. For whatever price that is. Now, if you decide to do something somewhere for free, you know, go to that same spot and do it for free as the same way that you would go to this spot over here and get paid for. You know, you want to give everything 150 percent no matter what's going on. So make sure that you know your worth. Charge what you charge, whatever it is, what you do and come in there with all that confidence and everything that you have. And they know that they got to pay you because you're just a successful person. You know what I mean? Now, number 15, visualize your greatest version. This is very, very important. You want to visualize the greatest version of yourself, that rich version, that healthy version, most importantly, that financially abundant version of yourself. When you visualize yourself, it's kind of like you're traveling in the future it's kind of like you're in a time machine and you are looking at the version of yourself that you wish to become that you will become if you start making the moves right now you have to really pay attention that version of yourself that you're looking at are they healthy are they wealthy you know sometimes you can literally have a conversation with your future self and your future self is going to tell you hey yes i work out uh-huh I, I i love to do uh videos i love to do uh music that's how i got this house you know i started i started a business uh, uh about 10 barbershops i started with one barbershop and i built them up you just never know how everything's going to turn out but one thing i can tell you for sure is when you visualize your future greatest version of yourself you start becoming that version of yourself today and you will become that version that you visualize so it's very important to visualize when it comes to being successful now number 16 inhale confidence <sighs> exhale doubt it's good to remember that you want to be very very sure about yourself when it comes to any success moves that you're trying to make you want to always it's like almost like counting the three you know i tell i used to tell my son hey man if you feel like you have any doubt about doing something, just count to three. One, two, three, and just go for it. You know what I mean? So inhale that confidence. Know that you're confident to do anything and that you're going to get it done. It's going to work out. The more confident you are, everybody going to see that. Everybody going to see that. But make sure that you exhale that doubt because that doubt has no place anywhere in our lives. If you doubt yourself, you won't become successful. So make sure that you never, ever, ever doubt yourself. Inhale that confidence and exhale that doubt. Now, number 17, if you know you can do better, do better. Give it your best. A lot of people, they just live life and they just have do things. They just do things just to get things done. They just, whatever they can do it. It look right. It look good, don't it? If you're going to do something, Give it your 150 percent, your 200 percent. Give it your all and make sure that you do your best when it comes to you being successful. When it comes to you making any moves, I don't care what it is. Always give it your best. Always do your best. Remember, if you know you can do better, do better, baby. Now, number 18, no risk, no reward. It's just as simple as that. If you are one of those people that is not willing to take the necessary steps that it takes to become successful, then you won't become successful. A lot of people, in, they, they go through life, they're not willing to take that risk. They're not willing to do whatever it takes. They're not willing to take a calculated risk. They're just not willing to, to take the chances. They're not willing to invest their money. They're not willing to travel or, or go somewhere where they need to go to become successful. Remember, if you don't take the risk, you won't get the reward. You have to be one of those people that takes the risk. Now, number 19, you are, you are, you are your best investment. I'm going to repeat that one time. You are, you are, you are your best investment. Remember that. Invest in yourself. 
You are what you have been looking for. Make sure you invest into your health, invest into your business, buy the equipment and everything that you need to buy. Don't wait on anybody. You don't need any friends to help you. You don't need any partners. You don't need none of that. All you need is you and God, you and the universe. That is all you need. You are your best investment. Always know that. Always know it, people. That is very important. You are very important. You are your best investment. Now, number 20, make it work, then make it better. That's very important. Nothing is perfect. You're not going to be able to start something off and it's going to be all so perfect and the way you want it to be. So just make it work the best way you know how. And as time goes on, it's going to get better because you're going to keep adding to it. You're going to keep learning from your mistakes. You're going to keep getting better at what you do, no matter what you are doing right now. So make sure that you make it work and make it better each and every time. Now, 20 hustle quotes to live by, baby. Let your hustle be louder than your mouth. Do something your future self will thank you for. Be the CEO of your own life. Get out of your own way. Focus on your goals, not obstacles. Great things don't come if you stay in your comfort zone. Remember why you started. Quit talking and just do. Where your focus goes, energy flows. Habits turn into character and it creates your life. The sweetest revenge is massive success, baby. It's okay to live a life that people don't understand. Nothing changes if you don't change. Know your worth. Visualize your greatest version. Inhale confidence. Exhale doubt. If you know better, do better. And remember, no risk, no reward. You are your best investment. I'm going to repeat that one more time. You are your best investment. I'm going to repeat that one more time. You are your best investment. And remember, make it work, then make it better. It is very, very important that you get these hustle quotes to live by 20 hustle quotes to live by or make up your own hustle quotes but it is very very important that you create that positive talk when you talk to yourself those positive affirmations those positive hustle quotes because those hustle quotes will carry you through some hard times because it's going to be a bumpy road when it comes to you being successful you are going to run into some detours baby you're going to run into some do not enters you're going to run into some construction sites you're going to run into all kind of things when it comes to you being successful but as long as you keep your eyes focused on that destination on that goal you're going to make it people you are going to make it now, if this video has resonated with you, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, make sure you share this video and comment below a list of your own hustle quotes or just let me know which one of the hustle quotes resonated the best with you people. Now, I'm very, very grateful and thankful for you all being here. Thank you so much. Until the next video, Millionaire Mindsetters, peace, peace and peace. Ha <laughs> ha.